It has been a very long time since we made a video like this. Look who's with me. Look what car we're in. I'm so excited. So today we are taking the FO5 for its first ever car meet. We're gonna go to Cars and Coffee this morning at our friends over at West Coast Exotics, which is nice and fitting because we can also go maybe look at some GT3s. But you guys aren't gonna believe me here, but this is my first time ever driving this car. Now, granted, I, I drove it I think a mile where the pickup location was whenever it was delivered, a mile from the shop to wherever that location was, was a mile. This car still has 19 miles on the odometer. That's, that's 19, crazy. And we've had this car for months. <laughs> There's so much that I wanna tell you guys that I'll tell you guys throughout the video. I can finally show the wheels and tires that are on it because I think this is the video that's gonna go after our first modification day. So our brakes and our wheels, I can finally tell you guys about those, which by the way, those videos were also filmed months in advance. So if I forget something, that's why. This car has been a long, long process, whether it was you know being able to even film the content to filming the content. It's been a very long time since we've had this car and made all this content so now we can finally drive it and finally start showing you guys everything without being restricted to like brand stuff we'll just say that but anyways yes first time driving the fl5 today 19 miles on the car and our first time taking it to a car meet which i am super excited for again you really don't ever see these cars right now they're super rare and i guess super hard to get still um so i'm very excited just to take it out and have some fun with it we have brand new bridgestone re71s on it again my favorite part being in the interior the suede steering wheel just nice i'm gonna drive it like this <laughs> pinky up <laughs> we're gonna go get tiana some coffee and then we're gonna head to the cars and coffee meet first highway bull The cluster is so sick. Can you see the lights? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> this thing is quick. It's very fast. Oh, my God. I, I don't know how I feel about the exhaust. I feel like it's like the artificial exhaust noise. But I do think it sounds cool, right? It sounds very nice. I like the interior. Yeah, it's so good. One thing that really aggravates me, when the dealership put the Alcantara steering wheel on, they put it on crooked and didn't fix it. That is going to drive me insane. I don't know if I mentioned this in the video of revealing it, we also got the accessory shift knob too. Red leather. Oh. I think I like the OEM shift knob better, like the, like the traditional Type R teardrop shift knob, which we have. They gave us all the OEM parts, so we still have the other steering wheel, and we also have the OEM shift knob, which is nice. I like the red in it, though. You like it the goes, red? Yeah. We'll it show, goes we'll with show, everything else. Yeah, we'll show you both. I want to know what you guys think. Do you like the red, or do you like the teardrop, or the, or the uh, accessory? having a cars and coffee. Wait, babe, why are we here? I, are they not? I'm pretty sure they're having a cars and coffee today. Oh my God, there's not a single soul here. Wait, you guys. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, no, wait. there's literally no one here. No, Nikki texted me, sent me a flyer. Was it yesterday on Saturday? You knew? It was yesterday. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. We're here, ready to go. Got up early, got coffee for a Cars and Coffee. March 18th. And it was yesterday. <laughs> Are you shitting me? We could, uh, technically, we're having our own Cars and Coffee. Oh my god. This is the best thing. I mean, do you want to walk up to the window and look at the cars through the window? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do something. We're like up, ready, active. I got my coffee. Like, I'm ready to go. Let's we gotta show, do let's, something. Let's show them the car real fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is our personal cars and coffee. Whoever's here is gonna be like, what the f*** are these people doing? <laughs> let's, let's show them the car. I am never gonna let you live this one down, ever. Cars and coffee. <laughs> Hold on, I just want everyone to get the full scope. 
Hold on, guys. This is what we pull up to for the cars and coffee. <laughs> it doesn't matter. How great does the car look, though? Let's talk about that. The T37's cherry on top. Now, when I got this, guys, you gotta remember, I, I had no say in what color I got. It just it just showed up. It was whatever, whatever came first is what came from Honda. And the Sonic Gray Pearl is what came. This is not the color I expected at all, but I did fall in love with it as soon as I saw it. And especially like really cool lighting like this. Whenever we did the install for you guys, you couldn't see this, but we did put the T37s from the FK8 on this car. And I feel like these wheels fit this car so much better. This car's not lowered or anything. And it feels like it just, it just already goes with the car, you know? Even from like back here, I think it's just the shape of the car is so good. Look at that. <laughs> mm, I love it. My favorite car. A lot of you guys were saying like, oh, he blew his engine. Then he went and bought an FL5 right after the engine. No. I had this car for months. A lot of you guys probably don't, don't pay attention or like don't see everything that we post. So I, I don't expect you to know, but we've literally had this car for months and been planning this build for months. The idea for this is that this car is gonna be like this streetable. This is what the FK8 was supposed to be. The streetable daily driver track car that I can take there if I want to. And then we have the FK8, which is gonna be the full blown race car, which that unexpectedly turned into. Wait, don't worry, we have someone coming to our cars and coffee. <laughs> That's what we need. Wait, <laughs> we saved it. We might have saved the I video. I think we might have found a cars and coffee. Just, or We were just going home and we found this. I wonder if this is, or, can, can we get, even get into this? Or, I, oh, look, look, we got, we got a cars and coffee, baby. I cannot believe we just found this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Don't worry, we saved the video. Look at that little Oh right my here. God. This is so we funny. We saved it. I can't we believe saved this. It. I can't believe this. All right. Oh, there's a bag Z here. Dang, this is pretty cool. Let's go find a parking spot. All right, don't worry guys. This isn't the cars and coffee we we wanted, but it's the cars and coffee we needed, okay? <laughs> this, I cannot believe we were just driving and literally saw this. I can't believe it either. That, how funny is that? That's all because we're going Pokemon card hunting. We were about to go to Target to go get Pokemon cards, guys. <laughs> All right, let's park up and go look at some of these cars. Boom, found a cars and coffee. <laughs> nice. What a turn of events. FL5, finally parked. Let's go look at some of these cars. This thing is actually sick. I know. We have the same color, same color car. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know, this is the most Z I've ever seen. I know, this is actually. It looks like it's a proto Z, but just wrapped in that crazy rustic look. The car that would ruin all cars for me if I bought it. So that's why we, that's why we don't get a Supra. Very nice though. Oh, big. I don't know if it's a big rim or if they painted it. I don't know. This thing is so cool. I love Supras so much. Coolest one here and the reason being. So you're rocking the banner, dude. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, these are really growing on me. Are they? They are. I don't hate it. I don't even hate the orange. No, I like the orange. Yeah. I do like it. looks like it's a mix between the cross track and the Yes! Yeah. Yes! That's exactly. Exactly what it looks like. But I kind I Look kind of like it. Cars. Oh my god, <laughs> that's gonna be us. Little baby Murph. Right in the car seat. I really enjoyed the MA Performance WRX when I was in Minnesota. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff that you could, even the one that we saw at SEMA, where it was like, it had the Varus kit, and then it was all like, the all the plastic was paint matched. It was really, really good. So you, there's a lot you could do to make this better. Type R beats all. <laughs> Still finding tape that I had to, that I have to peel off from doing the install videos. Okay, well, that counts. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> As a first cars and coffee, okay? I can't believe we just stumbled across that. I know. Very small. We met some we met some viewers in the channel. So thank you guys for, for watching the channel and rocking the Legends banner. That's super cool. It was very, very small, so not not too much to show you guys, but there was a lot of really cool cars there. So I'm I'm stoked that we went. Do you know where do where am I going? I gotta turn around, right? I'm not really sure. Where are you trying to go? I don't know. I'm I'm lost. Are that, you trying to go to the target? Yeah. Anyways. Also, fun fact, Dustin's terrible with directions. <laughs> Truly. We 
first car show, it's fine. We're gonna go try and find some Pokemon cards now. <laughs> this is Dustin's ultimate day. <laughs> All right, lots lots of first today. First uh, first target run in the FL5. Let's go see if they have some cards. Three miles away. Hey, it's what it, <laughs> you, guys, you guys know how it goes. What are the odds they actually have cards in here right now? <laughs> it's listen, guys, hit or miss. Listen, guys, it's whenever I come, they never have cards, but whenever she's here, she's my good luck charm. So that's when we always find cards. Okay. Oh, they're still. How does this happen? It's, okay, you guys. How does this happen? It's every time that I'm with him or I come by myself. Whenever he just comes by himself, there's nothing. Dude, they are stacked. Oh okay, gosh. we don't. We we've never gotten one of these, so we definitely gotta get one of these. We're gonna do one EX box, and we're gonna do lucky number three. This is our haul today. All right. We failed at cars and coffee. Sort of. Not really. <laughs> we did not fail at Pokemon cards. <laughs> successful target haul mission with cards and groceries. Just take a second right here to really appreciate how good this car looks. All right, it's only right if we rip open these cards in the car. So we'll show you guys what we get after. What are we doing first? I think we should do the four packs first. Okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> Let me tell everyone what okay. happened. So I open up this box, right? And you have all the packs like this. And I was like, oh, one's open, look. See this guy? We thought it was He's a resealed pack. Right. Upon further inspection, review, there's a crimped there's a crimped card inside the pack. My first error pack. Now it's a big deal. Now what's gonna make this really juicy is if the card is like a very good card. We're gonna open this one last. This is this okay. is the spe this is the special pack here. So from the first box, this is the only pull that we got. I don't know if anybody watching this cares or likes Pokemon like I do, but you are now. <laughs> we got a Vmax. Pretty nice, not great, not terrible. Okay, well I'll update you guys once we open up all 10 of these. <laughs> and then the air. Yeah. So this is how it came. You okay. can see the, the crimped card in there. Looks I mean, like they, a, can't, they can't okay. really see it on camera, it looks but like, it's there. Looks like a couple of crimped cards. Okay, let's check Which means out. that they just sealed the pack and like stamped the card. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look how bad that is. Oh my gosh. Is that, oh, it's ah! crimped, it's crimped. It's crimped! <laughs> it's crimped! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, you guys, hold on, hold on. Let me focus, hold on. You guys see the top? Okay. It's crimped! And it's Suicune! It's my favorite card. We've already pulled this. I don't know how we pulled this twice, and now, now it's crimped? What is our luck today? We've had some, we should go back in there and buy all the boxes. <laughs> Shook it. Okay, wait, let me see how bad the other one is. Okay. It's like cut off on the top. The other top. one's cut off super bad. <laughs> okay, look at that. Hold up. It's like, oh man. I kind of want to go back in there and buy the rest of those ETBs because what if they're all in the same factory? The chances of an error are like, you have a better chance of winning the lotto than getting like Pokemon error cards. Yeah. This is like a holy grail item. I don't think you guys understand. That is nuts. I gotta call Alex. Alex is our card guy and he's gonna flip out. Real fast. I know I know a lot of you guys aren't into this, but look at our error cards. We had the best freaking card run today. The... We did good. We did good. I think I think we can go home happy now, okay? First off, we went to a non-existent Cars and Coffee, then found a Cars and Coffee. Then we went to Target, which usually doesn't have Pokemon cards. They, they had, had Pokemon, Pokemon cards. cards. Then we pull it and we get the, the error card. It's insane. And then you made us go back inside and buy the other two boxes because you thought they were going to have error cards. Well, you never But know. you ended up getting that cool Pikachu one and the gold one. Finally made it home and I'm, I, I am curious. Do you guys follow F1? Red Bull is just dominating. My team is McLaren. As much as I, as much as the 570S left a bad taste in my mouth, my team will always be McLaren and it hurts me to see how bad they're doing this year and I do miss Ricardo, but Red Bull is absolutely crushing it this year. I'm curious, do you guys follow F1? We should do some, we should, we should do some F1 content on the channel. That would be pretty cool. Well, this has turned into a very unexpected, weird day in the life video. And what time? It's 7 11. I don't remember the last time. I don't remember the last time we picked up the camera last, but we're at the airport picking up a very special guest. How do I get to where we need to go? Yeah. We're picking up a very special guest all the way from Japan. I'm 
Welcome here. Surprise all Surprise. the way from Japan. Konnichiwa, konbanwa, kita yo. America, kita yo, California. Yeah, it's been all stuff and let's yeah. go. Masa, how's your uh, your American journey been so far? Where have you been? Tell the vlog. Well, I've been to Texas 2K. How was that? Insane. Saw how, how long has it been since the last time you've been in America? Five years. Holy moly. Yeah, I've never been back ever since. So, so Masa has, what, like two or three days here left? Two so days. He's gonna come visit with us, come see the shop, and we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Masa, are you hungry? You guys have seen this scene here so many times. This is as close as we can get to, to Japan, Japan America. I bet. Okay, what do you think, Masa? I mean, it's authentic. It's, it's authentic, that's for sure. It's like you know, Japanese hot plate where you cook the meat in the hot plate. Yeah, yeah. Super Bomb. Gar gar like garlicky, you know, peppery, you know, rice with nice beef. What do you think? No, we're in Japan. <laughs> kind of, as a food. <laughs> I brought three hoodies. Two of them are from yours. That's right. And then one of them is from Dobry because you know work. <laughs> but aside from that, yeah. Yo, by the way, guys, um, you know, VIPs get early access, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, all this, all these cool shenanigans, you gotta have to go subscribe to VIP. Now. It's like we're in Japan, but we're back home. <laughs> Ending with some matcha boba tea. I wonder, I wonder if it's, it's similar to what you guys have in Japan. And let's try it. What do we think? It actually does, it does taste like matcha. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, like, um, you know, sweet matcha stuff. We have some good Japanese stuff here. Yeah. But tomorrow, we're gonna get masa some American food. Time to go to the Duck Palace. Yes! Are you ready? So excited. So we're not gonna be doing too much tonight, obviously, because it is super late. But and we're, I'm super tired. But tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a full day of Masa and Dud adventures in America. Yep. 